Who's his size doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm out at Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to the Narrow. But I'll be hood forever. I'm the new Sinatra. And since I made it here, I can make it anywhere. Yeah, they love me everywhere. I used to cop in Harlem. All of my Dominicanos right there up on Broadway. Pull me back to that McDonald's. Took it to my stash spot. 560 State Street. Catch me in the kitchen. Welcome to my unboxing of the Nintendo DSi XL. Uh, for those of you who are subscribers of my channel, it probably will come as no surprise to you that I did pick up this console. Uh, for those of you who are subscribers, uh, just so you know, I'm a big fan of the Nintendo DS and the DSi, and uh, in general, any handheld that Nintendo puts out. But uh, to be honest with you, I really debated about picking up this console, especially with the newly announced uh, details about Nintendo's next handheld console on the, the 3DS. And since I do a large portion of my gaming on the DS, I figured that it would be beneficial to have the larger screen and uh, really kind of hopefully utilize some of the uh, better looking games on the Nintendo DS. Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing of this console, which is obviously why you clicked on this video. Okay, so here we have the packaging for the Nintendo DSi XL. Which obviously is, um, if you could tell, you know, from my hand, I have, I have pretty big hands, but it's obviously indicative of the size of the system itself. Uh, much larger package, much bigger in general. Uh, when you compare it to the original packaging that came, that the DSi came in, and it, you know, going back to the DS, the packaging that that came in was much smaller, um, even more so. Uh, just really quick overview of the outside packaging. Uh, this, for those of you who don't know, does come pre-installed with three different titles. They're all downloadable um, items uh, from the DSiWare shop. You got Brain Age Express Math, Brain Age uh, Express Arts and Letters, and Photo Clock. Not anything that would really um, prompt anybody to buy this system necessarily, especially at the higher price tag of $180. The fact that the system is bigger is, is the main selling point on this. And if you don't have a DSi, it might be um, you know something that prompts you to buy a DSi. Uh, but that's the outside packaging. Um, very standard. It does give you um, a size comparison there between the DSi or the DS Lite system and then the DSi XL. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this up and show you the system itself. So in uh, typical Nintendo fashion, you do have the uh, quick start guide. Uh, for those of you who have purchased the DSi, you'll know that the packaging and the uh, instruction manual for that system was very large. This has, you know, an equally large instruction manual. Uh, first of all, you have the quick start guide. Then you have the same thing in um, another language and the same thing in another language it's probably in a, it's in French and Spanish from uh, as far as I know uh, and then you have some information on the pre-installed software so nothing uh, out of the ordinary there and then you have this very thick booklet for the um, operations manual uh, which does span three different languages but a lot of information in there that really isn't necessary. You got the typical Club Nintendo reward stuff, um, some information about playing online, health and safety, and then a little ad for Nintendo Power Magazine. And you've got inside the system itself the power brick which um, from everything that I can tell is the same as the power brick for uh, the DSi and then the larger stylus which this does come with. Uh, now they do forego um, including a second stylus, a uh, second smaller size stylus uh, in order to give you a larger pen. I don't really foresee myself using this um, but I don't know maybe with some of the uh, the other software, um, like Flipnote Studios, it might be something that I'll use. Um, but obviously, the main thing that all of you wanted to see, and that's the system itself. So, let me go ahead and pull this out. Now, visually, right off the bat, um, there's um, a definite difference in the in the overall appearance of the system itself. Uh, now, this thing doesn't have that matte finish that the DSi came. Um, with uh, at least you know the the blue and the black DSi, uh, it does have on the top here a glossy finish, 
which uh, will definitely pick up some fingerprints. Um, the one thing that's kind of nice uh, is that uh, it's got a covering here over the camera lens, but that's, you know, this matte or this gloss finish actually covers all of the um, top surface here. I don't know how scratch resistant this is or scratch proof, but uh, I definitely plan on picking up a case eventually for this uh, and hopefully soon so that I don't find out how <laughs> prone to scratches this thing is. Um, on the back you do have the uh, matte finish, uh, which is actually a little bit of a more of a textured finish than uh, you definitely have on the, on the front here. Um, in terms of everything else, I mean, it's, it's basically um, a larger model of the DSi. I mean, that's all it is. Uh, you still have the SD card slot there, and uh, still have the shoulder buttons the same, and still have the uh, standard uh, DS card slot, uh, but all that kind of goes without saying, without mention. Uh, when you flip this thing open, it's uh, really obvious, you know, when you're in person, uh, the difference that you see in the screen size. Um, I'll do some uh, comparisons for you guys so that you can see that uh, for yourself, but uh, definitely off the bat. Now, um, I did go with, as you can tell already, the uh, bronze color. I, I didn't like the burgundy color myself. I'm not a a huge fan of red or at least not the, the dark red colors but uh, I like this color itself I think it's it's probably the better of the two at least in my opinion um, the one thing that I, I kind of noticed right off the bat is just uh, the the feel of the buttons and maybe this is just because it's a newer system it, it actually feels a little bit nicer um, now it's a little bit more spaced out obviously because you have the larger screens uh, but yeah overall the, the buttons feel really nice so Let's go ahead and do some uh, size comparisons. First up, what we have is the DS Lite, which uh, this is my Zelda, you know, one that I, I have had since uh, that came out. Uh, and then you have the DSi here, which uh, really there wasn't much size difference between the DSi and the DS Lite. Uh, a little bit bigger on the DSi um, when you compare. Now, flip it open and look at the screens. Uh, you can tell that the screens are a little bit bigger on the DSi than on the DS Lite. But let's go ahead and take a look and compare the DS Lite to the DSi XL. And you can see a very noticeable difference in the screen size. Um, so what I'm going to do next is just power these on and, and that will probably give you even a better idea of the uh, difference in screen size. All right, so what I want to do really quick is just compare the two screens from the DSi and the DSi XL. I think that'll be the best way to do it rather than comparing all three of them. And I'll try to get these in here so that you can see them. Uh, just go ahead and power these both on. Um, the one thing, I mean, obviously right off the bat, the, the, the biggest difference is just that screen. Uh, so let's go ahead and touch these to start. And, you know, you see the, the menus um, basically. That's a pretty big difference in the screen size. And for me, uh, I guess that was enough to, to decide to make the purchase. Um, as far as you know, the features on this, it's, it's standard just like the DSi. Uh, anybody who's seen anything on the DSi, you'll know exactly what to expect from this. Um, you know, the, the menu itself and the, you know, the graphics, even though this is uh, you know, bigger, it doesn't look like you know, there's that much pixelation, um, maybe from, you know, what you would expect. And there's a comparison to the DS Lite screen. So, that's really it, guys. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. I know some of you have been asking me about a DS update. and I got one coming, I, I promise you that. I wanted to get one up before this weekend was over with, but it didn't happen. I've just kind of been busy with work as usual. But um, I do have a pretty good DS update coming up for you guys. It's better than some of the more recent ones. I think that you'll want to definitely see uh, the games that I picked up. And uh, one title in particular that I've really wanted for quite some time. But I uh, had to save up a little bit for it because it was a little bit more expensive. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.